Hey everybody, so today it is very overcast and it was a very good day for spreading mulch because I'm trying to finish up one of the beds and I came across like a really awesome surprise that I wanted to share with you. That's this little guy, Ever Mini Blind Snake. And Hawaii is really cool because it doesn't have very many um, reptiles. Actually, it has no native reptiles, but whatever. Um, and so I'm just digging through the mulch and I saw this silver thing. I'm like, oh, look, a worm or a millipede. And then I realized like, it has no legs and it's not really slimy. And then it's like, oh my god, it's a blind snake. And like I mentioned, um, there are no native reptiles to Hawaii. So the way that the Bramini blind snake um, got here is probably through the horticultural industry. Um, through like potted plants or potting soil or... Um, or maybe even, I don't know, cuttings, something. And they're originally from um, Africa and Asia. And one of the really cool things about them is that they reproduce parthenogenically, which means that they do not require a male to reproduce. All the females that have been found so far are, well, actually all the individuals of the species that have been found so far are uh, all female and they produce eggs or live young. Um, they also come in a few different colors. Uh, blue, or not blue, sorry, purple. <laughs> purple, gray, well, I guess a steely, steely blue color, like this individual, and brown. And one of the interesting things is that all the females are clones of each other, so it's kind of cool to think of how that variation plays out. But these guys are entirely fossorial, which means that they spend all their time either underground or in ant and termite nests where they feed on eggs, larvae, and pupae of um, ants and termites. And you think like, well, it, they live in ant and termite nests and ants and termites are not the nicest insects in the world. Like, how does a snake do it? And um, the simple explanation for that is that they, this snake produces um, pheromones that make them smell like the ants and termites um, on which they feed. So they can just live in the ant mound or termite nest and uh, just go largely unnoticed while they cruise around the nest looking for eggs and pupae and larvae to just gobble up. But I just showed everybody um, so I just showed everybody um, that was around the snake because you don't really see them too often because they do spend a lot of time underground. But um, it's pretty cool. It's a nice find, um, especially today. It was just kind of uh, mulch, and then I found this, and it was just really exciting. But all right, well, I'm gonna get her back out into the field, and I will talk to you guys later.